up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2013 BMW X3 2.8 X Drive, meaning it's all wheel drive. Black on the outside with a beautiful saddle interior. Only 48,000 miles. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Matching Goodyear tires, four-wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors. Let's go ahead and finish going around the vehicle. We'll get inside of it, show you the interior options. All right, uh, it's got also privacy tinted glass, of course. It's got one of these intelligent type keys that you don't really have to take out of your pocket, except for to unlock or lock the vehicle. Right now it's unlocked. The door panels are the same as the interior I was telling you, with a nice, it's more like a red saddle interior. The door panels are two-tone, black with a saddle, with the uh, dull aluminum type look here, chrome door handle. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel. Got storage down here and a bottle, like a place for a bottle of water. Driver side power seat, power recliner, and memory for up to two drivers. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Fog lights, a manual tilt wheel. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an ounce smoker. You got uh, curtain side airbags on the front, on the middle post here, and this post over here. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. X3s do not come with a third row seat. We'll come back here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get it started first. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so once you get inside the vehicle, the vehicle is going to sense that the key is nearby and all you really got to do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. You don't have to hold it, you just press it and let it go and the car starts right up. We're going to start off by putting down the window so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. They are one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or up for that matter. So we'll put them all down. Okay. All right. Car has 48,023 miles. To the left of the odometer reading is the outside temperature and to the right of it is your uh, trip odometer. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the right hand side of your screen. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. All right, let's start from the bottom up here. You get the same type of a uh, dull aluminum look on the center console as you do on all the door panels. You got storage over here and here. To your right, you got a cigarette lighter adapter and a USB port and auxiliary port for your iPod. Uh, everything is got control through here, this uh, command here, and that's going to display over here. Uh, you got an electronic parking brake to engage, you pull. To disengage, you step on the brake and push in. This is for your descent control, uh, suspension, uh, um, sport suspension, and eco mode. And here is to disable your traction control. You got cup holders here in the center, as well as another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. So um, let's go ahead and put on some music. I think you can raise the volume of the music. Or is it right here? Let's see here. No, it's not this one. Maybe it's this one here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Raise the volume. Lower the volume here. This one here is to change the mode. Right now we're on FM. So if we press that, we're gonna go to. Um, uh, USB connection there which is not connected right now or auxiliary and back to FM and uh, you got your uh, voice commands over here this is for your Bluetooth so once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth you're gonna hang up and pick up the phone over here and this one here I think it's this is to um, 
This is to, ch to check out your stations here while I'm moving that little wheel. Okay. And then if you uh, decide you want to go to the station, then you uh, press on the button and it takes you to that particular station. Anyway, um, on the left hand side of the steering wheel is your cruise control. Like I said before, you do have automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off of sunrise. I just turn them on because I put them in auto. And since we're inside the building, it uh, senses that it's uh, uh, dark enough for the lights that, sh uh, that the lights should come on. Uh, let's see what else here. You got dual climate control. Let's put on the AC here. I got both sides at 60, but I'm going to put the passenger side at, say, at 66. And all that really does is it makes the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 66, while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicle blow at 60, or whatever it is you set it to. All right. Uh, you get your hazard here, your power door locks, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that senses bright light and darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Up in the top here you got your map lights, your SOS, uh, let's see here what else, this pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape also. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains, really nice. Your main glove box is over here with courtesy lighting. Your owner's manual is in that pocket over there with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Your, uh, your radio station uh, presets are right here and you got your CD changer over here. So now to turn off the vehicle as we're going to exit, you press stop button. You don't have to step on the brake for the vehicle to come off. <clears throat> and remember the key is still in my pocket. Alright, so let's come around here to the back. Alright, left rear door panel, same way, two-tone uh, with a saddle on the black. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection, let me show you how that works. Push that little lever, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, flip it up, and this handle will start working again. You do have rubber mats in the front and rear. These are, uh, I don't know if they're original, but they're, they fit perfectly to the car. They're contoured perfectly to the car, and they're heavy duty, and they hold dirt inside. So I'll show you the ones in the front here. So you got um, carpets in the front and rear. You get AC vents for the rear row passengers. These little tabs here are to indicate to you that in here, you have anchors for your baby car seat. So you can put your baby car seat in either one of the two outer positions. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as an armrest or a cup holder by pressing here. Okay. And now the seat, you can also go into cargo mode by pulling on here. See the little orange reveals that it's loose now and all you do is flip it down and it lays down almost completely flat. To uh, re-engage it back up for passenger seating, just push it. That, when the red goes away, it means it's locked down. See right now it's not locked in because I didn't push it hard enough. And now it's gone and now it's secure. And you can do one side and not the other as you can see or you can do them both and both go into full cargo mode. Let's have a look at the headliner now so you can see it's a perfect shape, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. Like I said before you got curtain set airbags back here as well. Where are they? Right there. Map lights on either side. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or, or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, all your emblems are in good shape. You got a rear wiper, rear wheel window defogger, <coughs> right rear tail light. Let's have a look back here. It's down here. Oh, it's up here. All right. And uh, back here, this is your cargo area. You got plenty of space here for cargo. And you also have a privacy cover here that slides and goes, in, goes into these slots over here. And what happens is now when you close your hatchback, people will not be able to look through the windows and see what valuables you may or may not have in here. Okay? And this can be also removed. So if you go into, if you want to, see this one's actually not closed. Now it's closed. Okay, um, if you want to go into cargo mode, this piece is really easy to remove. You just pull this toward you and put it in your garage. And you can put a large box here if you wanted to, you know? All right, down here, uh, your storage. All right. Let's go around to the front here. It does have a power tailgate. Okay, let's come around to the passenger side here. <clears throat> right rear door panel. Same floor mats over here, heavy duty floor mats. Nice and clean back here, no baby car indentations, no cuts, no tears, no cracks. Plenty of color in the, uh, in the leather. 
It's not worn anywhere. I'm missing any color. Right front door panel. I'm sure by now you notice that the panels have no cuts, no tears, no cracks. None of the speaker covers are damaged. Uh, you also have power seat and power recliner on the passenger side, not just the drivers. Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area one more time before we conclude the video. All right, before we conclude the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehicomax.net. Right on the home page at the top, you'll see a tab that says Apply for Credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click Submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.